Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are going to talk about multimeters. We are talking about digital multimeters, right? So we have here a multimeter. I've brought one digital multimeter with me. It's looking usually like this. Uh, this is a typical digital multimeter. Looking not this, this I want to measure, it's want to show you, but this device is a multimeter. You see, we have different ports here. We have a COM board, a common board, where this is minus, basically. Yeah? This is where minus of the of the voltage measurement or the, the end where the current is rushing out again. Here I have my cable uh, and I plug this cable, the black cable into the COM board book. And here I want to measure now voltage. All right, uh, this is a power supply, um, switching power supply. Uh, it should produce 24 volts. Uh, let's see. If I want to measure volt, I have to use this plug. This is for volt measurement. This is for ampere, small, milliampere, microampere, and this is for amperes, amps. Yeah. Put it in. This is the board to measure voltage. And now I want to measure voltage. I put it up here. Volts in volts. This is the selection switch. Put it to volts. Yeah. And right now it's in DC mode, so I can measure, measure DC voltage. Here I have the DC side. Yeah. And let's see how many volts I am going to measure here. 24.71879 well, jumps a little bit. Yeah. This is the voltage here. All right. This here, this device here is a DC DC uh, converter. Let's see where it goes. Yeah. Here, this is the output of the DC DC converter. Let's measure here also. Minus 11. Minus 11. Uh, this is, I've switched it. Uh, you see, it can measure in both directions. Now put it here and put it here. Uh, 11. Now it's plus. Uh, clear, I hope. Uh, that we can, if you measure negative voltage, that's plus, that's minus. If you put it the other way around, it shows negative voltages. Right. So this is DC side. If I want to measure AC, I can select here, switching to AC, and here this is public power supply, so we should measure here the voltage of the power plug. Oh, and there is already warning. Huh? Warning! Now it's a dangerous voltage, don't touch. Ooh, 232.9 volts. Huh? And this is true RMS, true root mean square. This means the effective value of the voltage. Since I know this is a sine wave because it's bad public uh, power supply, I can guess how the sine wave looks like. Yeah? If I don't know, if I don't know it's a sine wave, this particular multimeter shows me the real effective value, the root mean square, true RMS. Yeah? This is a feature of this. Yeah? Some cheaper models do only show the correct value for sine waves, but if it's a rectangular wave or, uh, I don't know, uh, another form simply, then it sh does not show the correct value. Okay? You have to consider this maybe. Yeah? This one shows the correct effective value, the correct true RMS value in any case. Yeah? Okay, and since I maybe I want to measure volt, uh, current, then I'll simply switch the selector to current. Yeah? Oh, and we hear warning, a warning tone, because it recognizes this is located here and we do not want to measure current, we have to plug it in here. And also here we should get a warning tone, right. Yeah? So, whenever I've plugged to the wrong port, this warning tone shows me, uh, hey, attention, because if I now want to, it, it assumes now I measure voltage, yeah, and I have the wrong port. If I just plug in here the voltage now, it would simply, poof, well, it is fused, yeah, there is a fuse inside, but the fuse would blow, yeah, and this is getting expensive over time. <laughs> Okay, so this is how a digital multimeter looks like and how you can use it. Okay? 
let's see let's see um, how this is working yeah put this away and then I explain it on a sheet of paper okay so this is a digital multimeter uh, well there is no moving coil there's no moving iron there's no moving parts how is it working it is working via the help of a ADC okay so we have an analog digital converter this away here The usual analog digital converter is a dual slope converter. There is a video about these dual slope converters. We have here the input. Yeah? This is where we measure. Whenever I select something else here, it may be used a different, different uh, pre circuit or something like this. However, there is the measure measurement voltage UM. And on the other hand, the ADC is giving out a number. And this number is displayed here. Okay, that's it. There is just an analog digital converter, usually a dual slope converter, inside. And whenever I select here a different mode, yeah, it will use a different switch, but the core element is this analog digital converter. Good. Yeah? There is always a resolution of such. Yeah? Resolution of the ADC. And when we look here, here is written 40,000 counts. So this ADC is dividing the measurement range into 40,000 elements. Okay? Example. 40,000 counts. What does it mean? Yeah? Let's say we have a measurement range of 0 to 20 volts. Yeah? This is the range. We divide this 0 to 20 volts into 40,000 counts. So this means we have 20 volts divided by 40,000 counts. This means on 20 divided by 40,000 equals 0 0.5 millivolt. Okay, here. 5 raised by the power of minus 10, so we have 0 0.5 millivolts. Okay, this is the resolution 0 0.5 millivolts. And what do I see on my display here? Well, we can see display, we can see 0. Okay, the next value we might see is 0 0.5. Millivolt. The next we might see is 1 millivolt. The next we might see is 1.5 millivolt. Yeah? And so on. Yeah? And what is the last value I can see with my 40,000 counts? The last value is 19. Dot nine 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 five volts. Because I need one for the zero, I have no, nothing left to reach twenty. Okay, and now let's see how many digits I have here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is what I see on the display. Huh? Maximum range. And you see, we have here full scale, and this last one, yeah, this last one can only reach one in this case. So this is called a half digit. 
This is called a half digit. The first one is called a half digit because it will not extend to 9. Yeah? If we have a different measurement range, let's say we have a measurement range of 0 to 50 volts range. What does it mean? 50 volts divided by 40,000. What is one count worth? 50 divided by 40,000, 1.25 millivolts, 1.25 millivolts, display, 0 volt, 1.25 millivolt, 2.5 millivolt, and so on, last value, is 50 minus one digit and this is 49.99875 again five digit display one two three four five tag this is what i'm going to see yeah and here again we have a half a digit yeah But now this half digit is even up to, to 4. Okay? So these half digits, they're somehow a combination of measurement range and, and resolution. Yeah. We have seen we can measure also alternating current here. We have seen yeah, we, we get one value. We did, we did, we get the RMS value, root main square value. Yeah, to this particular uh, measurement device here is even capable of, of this being the real root main square. However, if I really am interested in how the waveform looks like, yeah, then this is far not, not speedy enough. Yeah? This is by far too slow. Then I need something else. Yeah? Then I need usually an oscilloscope. What an oscilloscope is and how it works, we will discuss in next video. Yeah? So next video topic oscilloscope. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.